crazy how your life can change in a split second. I don't have any pain. Kind of hard to talk. Uh, I look like a skeleton. One day there. One step at a time. I love the people around me and I'm super thankful for them. Good morning, guys. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Brooklyn Corey. I'm 21 years old. I was attacked by a pit bull. Uh, we weren't playing, he was just sitting and I was kind of petting his head, telling him how good of a boy he was. I was standing up, I turned around and I turned back and he literally like lunged at my face, shaking, shaking my head like a dog. And then he finally released my head and something fell on the ground. We went and picked it up and it was my lip with my nose and the top part of my lip attached. It took 11 minutes to get to the hospital. It's hard being in a hospital right now because of COVID because you're literally alone. Um, so they sewed all my skin to the inner parts of my gums and my nose they had to sew down because uh, it's an open wound so I currently can't breathe out of my nose I'm only like breathing out of my mouth it's a uh, it's gonna be a long journey on the first day I came back from the hospital I was looking at myself in the mirror my parents were helping me get my uh, face dressing on and I looked at them in front of the mirror and I like almost had a breakdown because it just kind of hit me uh, I was out of shock and this was so different I was scared of myself but in a week, I've learned to just love myself, accept what I look like right now, and just know like this is not what I'm going to look like for the rest of my life. And if it was, I'll learn to love and accept myself, but for right now, it's not permanent. After I posted my accident on Instagram, I had so many people in my DMs telling me their stories, and I'm blessed that you guys shared with me. You guys are helping me get through it mentally. I will get through it physically as well. And I hate to think about it this way, but the story could have been a whole lot different. That dog could have grabbed my neck or taken out my eye. It's just my upper lip. It's going to take time, but it will be fixed. Okay, so this is the pill I have to take. I literally can't even open my mouth. <laughs> it is the hardest thing taking this pill. Antibiotics. I'm on no pain medication. No girl got a high pain tolerance. Good morning. Okay, y'all, this is how I have to eat and take my pill. It's like cut it in half. Literally through a syringe because I can't fit anything in my mouth. Uh oh. Y'all come back now, you heard? Wow, look at how cute the patootie. All of these beautiful flowers. This is my first time being out. Woohoo! Gang, gang. <laughs> We're going to the store. I'm so thankful for face masks because you literally can't see anything. My little baby teeth. Your spirits when you were in the first ER, you were you were you were Brooklyn. You were normal. Like ah, it's all good. We're gonna be fine. I'm still chewing my gum and like I was chewing my gum. You were from, like when I got in there to the operation from one to eight. I have to be positive about it. Like I was saying, like you have to be. I think Brooklyn, you personally, you are a positive person, and like this shit won't break you. I want people to be happy. That's all I want. Gotta drink my water out of this jar. The first step is cleaning my mouth with one of these syringes. Blue fluid. I just got the okay that I can brush my teeth, so I went to Target. That's why I was at Target. And I got these big toothbrushes. Hopefully they can fit in my mouth and clean what they need to. Feels crazy. So my face is clean, my teeth are clean, my body's clean, I'm happy. I am going to be reading a little bit before I go to bed. It's going to be a long journey, but thank you guys for being with me. I hope you learn to love yourself no matter what you look like and regardless of any situation you're in. I hope you learn to see the beauty in everything and remember to please hug someone you love today. Good night.